draw today. Uh, we face trips to Spain, Moldova and Cyprus. What's your thoughts on the draw? Yeah, it's, I think Europe is always something special and you don't know the opponents that well, but um, I think we'll be good opponents. Um, so she that uh, a really great club in Spain, now sixth in the leagues. Uh, I saw them coincidentally play um, in the weekend against Barcelona and they compete really well, so we'll be a tough opponent. Um, uh, and then the other ones is the Sheriff. Last year they beat Real Madrid, so they must be good. So I think we have to be really uh, well prepared and to go also in that league and in that competition. Mm. Lots of flying around Europe for that one. Uh, Monday, of course, was a great result. The confidence must be high. What was the most pleasing thing about the performance for you? I, I like the, the ambience in the stadium and togetherness with the fans. It was really great and I think we fight together and that is the way we have to act. Is it key not to get carried away after just one game? What's the psychology that you use for your players in that situation? Uh, we, of course, we can take the confidence from that game. When you beat Liverpool, uh, I said before, last year the best playing team uh, in the world, uh, this is a magnificent performance, clear. Uh, but also we knew uh, the week before Brentford and this game tomorrow will be the same. So uh, we have to learn from that game and I'm really curious uh, what we will present tomorrow. But I'm confident when we do the same as against Liverpool, we have the same attitude, uh, the fighting spirit, uh, the team cooperation, then yeah, there's a re we have to win then there. And the fans will be noisy once again. Um, great atmosphere on Monday and I know you're very, you've spoken very highly of the fans and particularly the travelling fans too. Yeah, um, the whole pre-season um, in, in, in Brentford, they were there. We know they are behind us and they're always there. So we have to deliver. And we have to deliver performances what is to the standard of Manchester United. And that starts once again with Kiffany, 100%. Uh, in every action, every occasion, every game. How has training been this week and what's the squad looking like? Yeah, training was well, of course, the atmosphere after such win uh, is, is great. And, and also from that game you can take lessons. Uh, we have to get into the season and to get into a season is always hard. And not everything will work 100% and therefore you have to work really hard to get that done. Uh, individual and especially as a team to get the right cooperation. Um, so from game to game, uh, go in, every game you start with zero and then you have to win that game. And how is the squad looking? I think good. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what do we say? They are, have, uh, have a good spirit. Uh, we are ready for that game, uh, for the next battle. So now uh, we fly down and we have to collect the points there. And you have the added bonus of Casemiro joining this week. How has he settled in with his teammates? Uh, shortly, but <laughs> he's good. He is, uh, you can see immediately his impact, what he can have. Um, so uh, we are really pleased that he is here. And he said himself he doesn't speak great English yet, but he's got so much support from other players in the team, which is a great bonus when you're moving to a new country, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely, but um, he's talking so best Portuguese and now um, many with us who are talking Portuguese that will help him. He said by himself, I have to learn it really quickly. He wants to, and that is the way he is. He wants to learn, he wants to adapt, and he wants to perform. And I'm sure he will do that really quickly so he can contribute to, to our success. And someone who definitely performed uh, last weekend was Martinez. Um, you told us in advance that he was a warrior, and we certainly seen that. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah, but, uh, so that's the way he is. So um, other get stimulated by it, but I think we have to be all. And not everyone is the same, don't get me wrong. But our, uh, we want that. We want a fighting team. We have to be a um, construct, create a team, uh, what is hard to beat. And from there on, we will win games. Were you a warrior as a player? Would you describe yourself as a warrior as a player? Ah, uh, let it. Uh, <laughs> let, let all the judge. <laughs> uh, so you've got a big squad, only 11 places, obviously. But the substitutes really pay, played their role, whether it be 45 minutes or five minutes. And it's important to have that big squad, isn't it? You said uh, totally correct. 
eh, if you are uh, for long on, uh, for 45 minutes or for five minutes, uh, you, you can and you have to contribute. And we are not a team. We have to be uh, to act as a squad. And so we need everyone. And we have a lot of games to cover, but also so in games, subs has to be ready in, in any moment. You've got a busy schedule as well, where you'll need all the squad, three games a week coming up. Um, how much is everyone looking forward to that challenge and you yourself as well? Yeah, I think um, first you have to get in the season and it's always tough to get in the season. And it's about um, you know, winning your fights, uh, winning your points and then the confidence will come. And, but from game to game you can learn and we have to develop, uh, develop the team processes and the way of play. And Southampton, of course, at the weekend. Have you been down to the South Coast before? I've been there, but it was a long time ago. I, I can't remember it that well because I was a child. Yeah, you'll look forward to that. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed.